Hey guys, so I don't know if this is going to be the intro, but I'm just going to start my little vanity set. I don't really have a vanity set. I just have like a tray and my stuff. I'm going to get a vanity soon, but we're not here to talk about me fucking shit up. Now we are here because of the title. We are doing a review and first impressions on one of my favorite, favorite, favorite beauty influencers, bloggers, vloggers, YouTubers, Makeup Shayla and Maybelline collab. And I literally was so happy when I found this out. I went into Walmart about um, Thursday and I went to the makeup section because I always go there. And I saw the collection and I was so, y'all, I was so fucking hyped. I was just like, oh my God, like seeing her on Ulta and with Maybelline, okay, I see it. But actually looking at it now, it's like, Shayla, like, Shayla, if you watch this, I'm so proud of you. I've been a a fan and for freaking forever. You are actually one of the bloggers that got me back into makeup. So Makeup Shayla came out with a whole line with Maybelline. It's the Maybelline X Shayla line. And it came with this uh, palette, the City Mini palette. If you haven't um, heard about these palettes, they're really good. They're very affordable. I want to say they're about, like, six to eight bucks and you get a good range of shades they have um i know they have like a um, khaki green um palette they have a neutral one they have they have several ones but this is the one that shayla uh made so she made this palette and it's you know like she said she wanted it for the day and night so you can make it do a day look and a night look and it'll just look bomb as hell so she also came out with some mascara i got the um baddest black i didn't get the blue or the purple um because i don't know i just wanted to get these two because i wanted to try these first Link all the products down below but we are going to do a first impressions on this palette and stay tuned just to see how i feel about this palette i really love shayla i'm so proud of her i love that she's really her and she's never tried to be anybody else and that's something i really admire about a lot of other youtubers and vloggers and people who are just putting their self out there is that they they're true to themselves and I, I just fucking love that so I'm not throwing this away this will not be thrown away this will be sashes this is how it looks so we have a matte like dark mauve tone we have a shimmer purple like a this looks like a a yellow gold this looks like a copper gold a black matte and a tan shade i probably won't be going in i should have used this to set my um eyeshadow primer but i just use translucent powder i should have just used that but as you guys can see i have my base on i'm gonna warm up my skin a little bit more but i just wanted to put my base on i typically don't do this and i know a lot of my videos or my most recent ones that i've only have your guys are probably thinking oh she does her, her foundation first but typically i like to do my eyes first but i just wanted to get my face out the way and just do my face makeup but um, don't be alarmed if I look super bright and my eyes look crazy. It's just because my eyes are just primed and set. And I just have foundation and concealer really on. I haven't really bronzed up. The only thing that this palette doesn't have is a transition shade. Which I don't mind because like Shayla said and a lot of people who are collaborating and making more eyeshadow palettes. They're not really like. I mean they have transition shades but it's like everybody has their transition shade. I like to use like a, a orange or like a, a brown typically around my, my skin tone or something like that. So I'm just going to go in with one of my palettes that have a has a transition shade that I typically like to go in with. That's the only, I would say, if you just need a, a transition shade that bad, that's the only downfall is that you would have to carry, you know, a palette with another transition shade. But the palette that I'm going with, which is travel friendly too, just like this, this is really travel friendly. So if you're doing your makeup for like, you know, for work or for school, or whatever this with you and spice it up i would i would think to do like you know maybe go in with the black shade just to deepen it up but the palette i'm gonna use today for my crease is just one shade i'm using out of here is the nyx ultimate shadow palette in the sh uh, warm neutrals this is it this is the palette and with this shade right here it's just a very warm orangey color just as my transition shade just to get you know my crease warmed up so we're gonna go in with that and then um, we'll be back to do um, going with the palette. Ooh. 
Okay, we're gonna go in with the first shade, but I'm gonna just play in it and try to get like, use as many as the colors as possible. But, but I'm gonna go in with this dark mauve plum shade and just, you know, go in with it and deepen up the crease and we're gonna see how this applies, so. I don't know if you guys can really see, but it's it's pigmented. It's but like I said, like with the city mini palettes, like they're for them to be drugstore, they're extremely pigmented. And what I'm doing, I'm focusing on the outer corner of my eye and I'm blending it into my crease, um, like midway, focusing to deep it in my my crease. At first, I was gonna say something and I started blending and. This is, and I love how it looks with the um, the transition shade I did. Like, it just looks really pretty with it. So this, okay, Shayla. Now I will say, I don't know if you guys can see, but it is a little bit of fallout right there. But I don't mind that because typically that happens. Um, you get kickback when something's really pigmented. If I like highly pigmented shadows, do have some kickback. Like one of my favorite shadows. Um, brands who have shadows is Anastasia Beverly Hills and the Modern Renaissance palette is one of my favorite palettes and it has kickback but it's extremely pigmented so I get it because it's so soft and buttery and that's what I would say about this palette is that it's extremely soft and the pigmentation is there it's not like I'm having to struggle for it and what I like about it is that you know with some shadows that can be pigmented it's like it'll um it'll get patchy it's not patchy the pigmentation is there and it doesn't look uh crazy and it it's not like taking away from it i know some shadows it comes on pigmented and if you keep blending it starts to fade away and not just blend into it so i really appreciate that about the palette so far i really like this shade a lot and I'm really not just saying that because it's Shayla or it's Maybelline. This, it's really, you guys can see it from, like, it's, it's a pretty shade. Like, it's, and, and typically I, I don't really dabble in color. Like, I do, but then I don't. And what I love is that the purple show, like, you can tell that it is, like, a purple shade. But that's something else too because I know sometimes shadows can look really pigmented on someone who has like fairer skin or skin like lighter complexion in mind and with me I know some a lot of times I struggle with finding palettes that are both pigmented and show the true color or even close to the color on my lid because well, my lids are darker so that's one thing I I really appreciate about this palette is that the color shows it's not looking gray it's not looking black it looks like a plum mauvey color like it doesn't it does not not look like that this seems like it's even more pigmented than the other mini cindy palettes and i do i'm gonna show y'all that i have the other one. like i have that similar but this is the other one and i could have went in with these shades but this is the other one that i have and this is really good too but i just feel like this one's i don't know I just think it's more pigmented up there with some high-end ones. I have Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have like I have um, Mac shadows and stuff like that, and I have um, Nars and stuff like that. So I'm just seeing it, and I'm like, this is crazy. Like this is so pigmented. Like, and it's beautiful. Like it's just a beautiful shade. I don't even want to add the black, but I want to use all the shades. Like I want to use a majority. Of the shades so I'm going to go in with the black just to deepen up my crease a little bit more and I'm going to go with a more uh, smaller blending brush which is this brush right brush right here to pack it on it's like a thin shader brush but I want to pack it on and then blend it out with this brush this is an elf uh, crease brush but I use it to blend out my outer like the outer V so I'm going to go in with that it's a lot going on right now but I'm gonna go in with that black shade right here and I'm going to pack it on and then blend it on and then blend it. So I'm going to take a little bit and I'm going to pack this focusing on like my outer 
V. It's not the blackest black. I'm gonna keep building it up and seeing, but it is bringing in that depth that I want, that definition, but it's not patchy or anything like that. Is it the blackest shadow I've ever used? No, the blackest shadow that I've ever used is the um, Melt one from Melt Stacks. It's super black, but I do, but I do appreciate that it's not, this will be great too, like, uh, for people who are kind of scared to get into using black shadow because like what I'm doing I'm just pressing it in and blending it uh, focusing on my my outer you know my, my outer V and I think this would be you know great for those who are kind of like scared to get into black I wasn't trying to do a smoky look but it looks like that's what we're getting today which I don't mind but I do love the shadow like it looks really pretty it's very pigmented like the black is pigmented it's not as black as um like I said the melt one I do think I could build it up even more but I just don't want to right now but it is buildable that's why I would even give it like an eight nine because it's very buildable it's not like I know if I kept going in it will be extremely black now I'm going to go in with I don't want to just use this purple shade. I want to kind of go in with the coppery shade. This is going to look like some LA, some LA Lakers up in here. It's copper shade. I don't know if I want to go in with the copper shade or the yellow gold shade. I'm gonna start with the copper and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that. I'm gonna start and I'm not gonna spray my brush at first. I'm going to, and and typically I always spray all of my shimmer shades, but I'm gonna see how this does without any product, like any type of, you know, activator on it, whether it be water or Fix Plus or anything like that. So I'm gonna go in with this shade first and then go in with the inner corner with that. It's very pretty. I would just do this if I was just going to work, but I'm going to spray it because I do want it to be a little bit more pigmented. I typically do this with all of my, I'm going in with my mineralized charge water from MAC. And um, I do this, like I said, I do this with a lot of my shimmer shades. So um, I don't think it's a terrible thing that I'm going in with it just a tad bit. Is it super intense? No, but like Shayla said, it's gonna be like a palette that's day and night. So, like I said, I, I feel like this would be great. This shade would be extremely great for those women, like women who wanna like wear eyeshadow, but not, you know, have some like a gold shade or a copper shade on top and not have too much going on. But I do feel like when you wet the brush, it does make it a tad bit more brighter. This is really pretty but it does look like the Lakers but I mean it's whatever now I'm gonna go in like kind of like in the inner part and like right here to the inner corner with this yellow gold like shade and I'm going to wet that a little bit too I'm actually going to go in with a I'm not gonna go in with this brush I'm actually gonna go in with a pencil brush I'm gonna just take one of my pencil brushes and pick it up and wet it and you know go in with that now that's that <laughs> right there that is pigmented now I should have went in with this on the lid but I actually like how this looks because it's like bam and you know that that pigmented okay Shayla that shade is really pigmented I would put that over the lid not saying I don't like this one but I do appreciate how subtle the one the gold the copper one is because you could wear it for day and night I mean if you want something this bright like in the inner corner on day by, by means go ahead but for me I like that this could be the copper shade could be used 
for like day and night. But this shade right, girl, this shade right here, this will probably be cute as a highlight too. Shayla. Shayla, why didn't you? Because when I was saying something about the copper one, it probably was like, oh, you want pigmentation? I'm pushing it into the uh, on the lid too. And I just tap back in without spraying, and it's still extremely pigmented. Y'all, this is so pretty. You can honestly put mascara on and be okay with this, but I like falsies, so I'm gonna go in with the. This mascara is so freaking cute, but it's the like I said, the big colossal big shot, and they have a regular one, but this one is the blackest black, and it's supposed to be extremely black. So I'm gonna go in and coat my lashes with it, and I do like the um, big shot mascara. So, yeah. wow. I don't know if you guys can see, like, for me doing like one coat, but. It is extremely black. Big Shot does a great job at separating and coating your lashes, but this, I could, I could honestly like get away with not putting on any lashes, but I'm gonna put on some lashes. This mascara is extremely black. Look at it compared to this one. Like it's extremely black. And I really, really do like it. But if I was to just use this mascara, I would probably do one more coat. But it's just with one coat, it's extremely black. Wow, I really appreciate that. I'm going to go in with, um, I'm going to put on my lashes and I'm going to finish um, my, the rest of my makeup. I'm going to blend out under my, smoke it out under the, uh, the, the lower lash line. And I'm gonna bronze up my face and we'll be right back to give my full review. So I just finished um, smoking out under the lower lash line. I bronzed my face up some more. I put on face powder, I put on highlighter, and I put on a glossy purple lip. This is the um, Vivid Hot Look Lacquer by Maybelline. And it's really good, it's really pigmented. I do have a purple lipstick underneath. But we're here for the palette and what I get for these products, I got the mascara, the black is black, and the palette that she made. Honestly, I think you should definitely get this palette. It's very pigmented, and I can see how it is a day to night. And the only con, like I said in the beginning, is that there's no real like transitional shades in here, but everybody has a transition shade that you can find. The shades are super pretty. Um, I love all the shades. You can do so many different looks. But I tried to incorporate all colors, so I did use all colors except for the purple right here. The logo, which is my favorite, which is in the inner tear duct, and I love it a lot. The It was super blendable, like you guys saw in, in the video. Um, I love the size of it. It's travel friendly. And I just love the I just love the color, pa the, uh, color palette. And overall, I just really love this, this collection. The mascara was great. It's super black. This is going to be up there with my um, L'Oreal Telescopic. And it is the black is black. So I'm going to try the other ones. I know she has a purple one and a, and a blue one. So I'm going to try that next. But great job, Shayla. I, I love it. I don't really have anything bad to say. Um, the black isn't the blackest black. Which is, you know, funny because it's called the blackest black. But, you know, it is very buildable. And it did deepen up my crease a lot. So I would say definitely try this palette. And I will try the other mascaras and let you guys know what I feel about them. But I love this palette. I do see myself using this a lot and playing with it a lot too, especially with it becoming fall and having more warmer colors like this and deeper purples like these and stuff like that and coppers. I am going to try, like what I said in a video, uh, doing this shade all over or just putting it out and just wearing it maybe with like a matte, like brown taupey color. I honestly would give it a 9 out of 10 because um, I would just say because it doesn't have a, a transition shade because the black isn't that black but I mean for it to be a drugstore palette it's pretty black so is it worth it of course should you get it yes do I see myself buying this again yes I'm actually gonna buy another one just to stash away because I don't know if it's limited edition I believe it's limited edition but I'm gonna double check to make sure but I'm gonna link where you guys can get it from you guys can get it from Ulta 
you you should be able to find it in stores at Ulta and at Walmart. I found mines at Walmart. You may be able to find it in Target too, but I just know I found it in Walmart and I've seen people say that they found it in Ulta and you can buy it off Ulta, online on Ulta too. So congratulations, Makeup Shayla. I love you. I can't wait to see other collections you come out with. And this is an amazing palette. You and Maybelline did a great job. And I will definitely be incorporating this in a lot of my makeup looks in the future. And like I said, I'm going to buy another one because I just don't want this to, you know, run out and not be sad. But this is an amazing palette. Thank you, Shayla. Thank you, Maybelline, for just, you know, collaborating with, you know, YouTubers and just showing that you don't have to just collaborate with just typical celebrities and stuff like that. But that people who we are inspired by. I love Maybelline for this and it's just so just it's just so it's just so surreal to see i know shayla feels like feels this a thousand times more but it's so surreal to see that she has a full collection with maybelline i think it's beautiful and this is something i like i'm you know i aspire to be and, and it's very inspiring let me know if you guys picked it up if you guys picked up the color mascaras let me know how you like them and if you guys tried these let me know and to do a look and post it even if you're not a youtuber just post it but i think this is a great palette especially for those who are trying to get into makeup and wanting to get into color i think this is a great palette to use so that's my thoughts i give that palette two thumbs up i give the mascara two thumbs up definitely one of my favorite mascaras probably because it's super black let me know what you guys want to see next and till next time so see you guys later bye